Welcome back once again to my YouTube class, guys. I'm Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. This is another session of Azure Administrator, and in this session, I'm going to help you how we can manage network over Azure portal. In previous class, we have already discussed about how to manage virtual machine over Azure portal. We already completed the task of creating on-demand virtual machine and about the VMSs, virtual machine scale set how to add storage or data disk in our Azure virtual machine. So you just go through the playlist and uh, check the entire videos, which is available in module third. Now I'm going to move ourselves to module fourth, which is uh, correlated to the networking. And in this module, we will discuss about each and every points related to networking of Azure portal. So we'll start from the very basic, like what is networking, what is virtual networking or cloud networking, and we'll discuss about VNet, VNet pairing, network security group, how to set up a load balancer, what is usage of Azure firewall. We will try to implement site to site and site to point VPN as well. So these all are the topics that we need to cover in Azure network module. So let's start about the Azure networking, First of all, we need to know about the concept of network. And after that, we'll move ourselves to Azure portal and discuss about the procedure to implement virtual network over Azure portal. So let's move ourselves to desktop screen and discuss about the concept of networking. But before that, if you're new on my YouTube, YouTube channel, if you're watching my video first time, so please do subscribe Teach Me Cloud. Okay, now we are on page of our desktop screen. Let me explain you about the cloud networking first. And after that, we'll move ourselves to portal and discuss about the procedure to create subnet, VNet and add virtual machine to our VNet. To understand about the networking, let me explain you about few components which is required are mandatory to set up our own network environment over Azure portal. Azure networking, right? This is our agenda. So let me compare the Azure networking with the on-premises. So in case of on-premises, for example, I'm just going to categorize in two different part. This is on-prem network, right? And this one is our Azure network. For example, you are planning to establish a network for 10 different computers. I'm talking about in case of on-premises. So what you need to do, you must need to establish at least one centralized device, which is considered as a switch, means you may, must need to involve physical switch to make a connection between our virtual or physical machines, which is available in on-premises. So switch is type of mediator, or you can say that centralized device that help us to make a connection between different uh, computers or another resources. But think about it, how we can implement network over an Azure portal because over an Azure portal, we don't have any kind of a virtual or physical switch. So in case of Azure, what we need to do, we have a one service called VNet. The meaning of VNet is basically virtual network. Under the virtual network, we will create our subnets. As per the CIDR value, we are able to create multiple subnet. With the help of subnets, we can connect our virtual machines, our storage, our databases to our own VNet. So you can see that in on-premises, we need to establish our network with the help of centralized device. Consider as a switch. If you want to implement your network over Azure portal or any cloud provider, the VNet can help us just like a physical switch. So under the VNet, we are able to create multiple subnets. In the subnet, we can add our virtual machines or any kind of resources like as our databases, SQL database, uh, you can add a storage or another application services. So this is the basic understanding of our Azure network. Let me explain you about the prerequisite 
to understand about the concept of network properly so you can see that it's a basically components of networking right the components of networking can help us to establish and manage our own network environment so we'll start from the very basic like what is networking or uh, what is network second about ip address right it's really important for us we must need to know about the ip address third important point is related to the ip class range and ip address version so it's really important for us we must need to know about how many classes are available in our ip and how many versions of ip addresses are available so we should know about it number fourth is correlated to subnetting yes c i d r classless interdomain routing or you can say that subnetting so cidr are subnetting which is a method that help us to uh, calculate the usable ip address from cidr value or address space we will also discuss about the concept of public and private ip address it's really important for us we must need to know about the range of public and private ip addresses so guys you can say that these all are the points that you need to know in case of uh, networking if you want to establish your network over any portal i'm not talking about only the azure if you want to set up your network over a vmware virtualization gcp or any other cloud like uh, the amazon web services you must need to know about the the components those components can help us to establish our network environment right i hope you understand about these component let me explain you about what is networking as you know very well with the help of wire and wireless we are able to make a communication between resources means computer to printer printer to computer computer to mobile phone mobile phone to another like by using the network we can make a communication between network devices next ip address so ip address is basically a logical number that help us to identify the device which is available in our network environment each and every device which is available in network contain our own address it may be your computer system biometric devices or your mobile phone if connected with any wi-fi your laptop your desktop your smart tv each and every devices are connected through the uh, network and each and every devices contain our own private ip address right so let me explain you about the classes first let me explain the number of classes like class second you should know about the range of ip address and default subnet it's really important for us we must need to know about the points class a b c d and e right so you can see that five different classes uh, the ip address categorize in uh, five different classes these all are basically a b c d and e class a started 0 to 126 class b started 128 to 191 192 to 223 224 to 39 and 240 to 254 right the default subnets for a class is 255 dot .0, 0 dot 0 dot 0 255.255.255.0 class c 255.255.255.0 so these ip address the class d ip address is basically used for the multicasting uh, you can say that video conferencing and class e is basically used for research and development we are authorized we are able to use only class a b and c ip address because these ip addresses are considered as a you can say that as a commercial ip address we can use it for our personal network environment to set up our personal network environment okay i hope you understand about the concept let me explain you one more point about public and private ip address the range of uh, sorry uh, 
uh, yes we should know about the version of ip address so ip address categorized in two different part which is ipv4 and another is ipv6 the capacity of ipv4 is 32 bits and capacity of ipv6 is categorized in 128 bits the capacity of uh, ipv6 contain 128 bits of address right talk about public and private ip address so it's mandatory for us we must need to know about the range of uh, public and private ip addresses so private ip address range we should know about uh, private ip range class a class b and class c because you know that we are authorized to use these class based ip addresses only Class A IP address 10.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0 to 10.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.